JoJo Siwa just revealed that she is officially back on the market just days after her rumored girlfriend Katie Mills apologized for her problematic past comments on social media. Let's get into it. JoJo Siwa just rang in 2022 by declaring that she is single and ready to mingle. 2021 was a rocky year for JoJo on the relationship front with her and her ex Kylie Prue having called things off last year after dating for just over nine months. At the time of their split, JoJo was competing on season 30 of Dancing with the Stars and opened up about how the split, although amicable, was difficult for her. But JoJo seemed to have been throwing herself back into the dating game after she was spotted with a new mystery girl, immediately fueling rumors of a new romance. JoJo's alleged girlfriend was confirmed to be Katie Mills after the two were spotted attending a Los Angeles Lakers game together last month. While at the game, Katie and JoJo looked pretty cozy sitting side by side, with the rumored couple even taking to TikTok to post some super cute videos of them dancing. And in one TikTok video posted by Katie last month, her and JoJo can be seen getting especially close, with Katie captioning the video, she keeps me smiling. Um, yeah, no wonder JoJo stands didn't exactly see this relationship as just platonic. But while the supposed evidence of their romance might have been convincing, JoJo just made it crystal clear that much to our surprise, she's actually single. On January 1st, JoJo made a TikTok tell-all about herself in the hopes that she would do at the video at the end of the year and be able to see how her life has changed. JoJo stated that her current favorite music was the Grease soundtrack and her personal priority was to gain a six-pack. But as for her widely speculated relationship status, Jojo wrote single. Yep, we are so here for Jojo's single era, and some of Jojo's followers might be sighing with a breath of relief because let's just say Katie Mills is a controversial figure amongst Jojo fans. Katie found herself in hot water after several transphobic and pro-Trump tweets were resurfaced online shortly after Katie started to feature on Jojo's TikTok. In a Twitter post from 2018, Katie questioned if trans women are actually women and later retweeted a post that read, I'm sorry, at real Donald Trump, we let you down, following the 2020 presidential election. Um, yikes. Because of this, many social media users were quick to cancel Katie, with many fans even pleading for JoJo to cut whatever romantic ties she might have had with her. After she was exposed for her offensive tweets, Katie took to social media to apologize for her past comments, writing, There is stuff that Trump did that I do support, and there is stuff that I did not support. It's the same way for Biden. Katie also addressed her transphobic tweet, saying that she was raised in a conservative religion that made her shun out the LGBTQ plus community, despite like Katie having known she was gay since she was 11 years old. Clearly, there's a lot to unpack here, but one thing's for sure, although JoJo might still be involved in Katie's life, there's definitely not dating amid the aftermath of Katie being canceled online. Well, not anymore at least. For now, JoJo has yet to make any public statement on her relationship to Katie, meaning we're still unsure if these two were ever dating in the first place or if they really were just friends. As always, we'll be sure to keep you posted on any updates and we'll be keeping a close eye on both Katie and JoJo's socials. But who knows, maybe JoJo's New Year's resolution is just to kick back, spend some time by herself, and enjoy being single. Either way, we're so excited to see what's in store for JoJo in 2022 and seriously wonder if Katie will be a part of it. Now go ahead and click right over here for all the details on how JoJo nearly got wiped out sitting courtside with Katie at a Lakers game last month. Then hop to the comments and let me know all your thoughts on her updated relationship status. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.